this is a quick tip for whenever you need to use bolt cutters like this. If you look at the actual jaws on this, you'll see that they're in very good condition. The actual jaws on that are made from iron and steel. They are very tough. If you need to cut through a padlock, the shackle on the padlock is also iron and steel. So if you cut through the shackle on a padlock using them, you damage the jaws. If you look at a lot of bolt cutters, they do have damaged jaws where people have used them on iron and steel. If you can do, if the padlock has a brass body, it is a lot easier cutting through the actual brass part of the padlock and that will save your actual bolt cutters. You will not damage the jaws cutting through the brass. Also, if you're cutting through a lock that's a, an high quality lock and it's actually on a chain, you can cut through the chain quite easily with these, unless it's an iron chain. You can also cut the shackle on the actual lock rather than cutting the padlock. That will save the jaws on your bolt cutters. So if you look at the actual asp part of this lock, you could quite easily cut through that. It's only thin steel. That is a lot easier to cut than the actual iron part on the padlock. You can see there that it says iron because that actual part is iron steel. So we're now going to cut through the brass part on this padlock. Just need to get it in a comfortable position. Even though it's brass, it still is quite hard to cut through using these. That's it, the lock is now off there. You can see that we've cut through the brass body completely. And if you look at the jaws on the bolt cutters, they are still perfect.